Okay, we want to find all local extremes of f of x equals x cubed. Now you may be comfortable with the x cubed graph already, um, but let's one, run through the um, process on this. So the first thing you'd want to do is go ahead and take the derivative. So power rule, take our derivative, and then the next thing we'd like to do is figure out when do we have any critical values. All right, critical values or critical numbers. Now these occur whenever the derivative is either equal to zero or undefined. So I'm going to go ahead and set ours equal to zero. Now you can visualize this as already being factored if you want, or you can do a few steps here and isolate x on one side all by itself. Apply a square root to both sides and we get x equals zero would go as a critical value. All right, next you'd want to think about critical numbers. I'm sorry, critical points. So we'd get a critical point if we evaluate the original function with the critical number. So 0 cubed works out to be 0, so 0, 0 is our critical point. Now this is the only place on this graph, because it's the only critical value, where we could have a local maximum or a local minimum. Now it works out that it doesn't, it doesn't turn out being either one of those in this case. As you'll recall, that's what our graph of x cubed looks like, an odd power function. So we don't end up having a maximum or minimum of that value, but it's still referred to as a critical point, and the x value of 0 is a critical value or critical number. Um, we will shortly learn some rules about finding if a critical value is going to be where we get a maximum or a minimum, but that'll be shortly.